Good Wednesday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick check of the forecast for you on a very warm and steamy day across the area. No question about that, and little, if anything, is going to be changing on that nature as we go into the course of the next several days pretty much so summer has basically arrived for all intents and purposes and it's not going to be going anytime soon to be heading on through some beautiful temperatures as we finished up april and went into may this time around not really going to be looking at too much of anything like that matter of fact the entire forecast is going to be decently kind of repetitive shall we say stagnant might be another good way to put it we'll just keep our eyes on that forecast coming up for just a little bit but in the meantime for right now we're seeing again the possibility of some minor chances of thunderstorms for the time being but we're not talking about anything huge and we'll get more details on the holiday forecast coming up here in just a little bit so stay tuned for more on that if you're just joining us if you've never been here before this is our online video weather blog. This is where we get to explain more about the weather forecast than the two to three minutes that we have on air. So if you'd like to know more about what's going on, please let us know. Just drop something into the comments section if you have a question about Mid-South weather. We'll try to get to all the questions that we possibly can, but once again, it's, uh, we'll try to get the forecast for everybody. And if we start doing forecasts by neighborhood for everybody on here, this is going to be a very long netcast, so we'll just give you a generic idea as to what's happening. Drop your location and your weather reports, more importantly, into the comments section below. Let us know where you're from. City, state will do nicely. And give us a temperature or sky report. Let's do some amateur meteorology, some citizen science here for this morning and let everybody know what's going on. Plus, if you have pictures, almost forgot to mention this, we'd love to be able to feature your weather pictures from in and around the area. And we'll be doing some of that coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that. Dustin Brumfield from Smithville, Mississippi. Partly cloudy and 73 degrees. Thank you very much for that one. And welcome to everybody else uh, checking in. Muggy in Munford, Tennessee. Bruce Loshi, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. And welcome to everybody else. Let's see. Jonesboro, partly cloudy. Alice Hill, thank you very much for checking in with that. Forecast in a nutshell. If you've never tuned in here before, again, red bar at the bottom of your screen, scrolling on by here. That's the forecast for the Mid-South area. And again, we'll keep you up to date on this. This is generic forecast, again, for the rest of the Mid-South in a nutshell for the rest of the day today. Mid to upper 80s by lunchtime. That'll be our high temperatures for the rest of the day. And while you don't see anything here in the way of thunderstorms, there will be an isolated chance of them coming up later on this afternoon. Not huge, not a great deal of severe weather, but there will still be isolated areas of thunderstorms possible in parts of the Mid-South, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 again for more on that. In and around the Mid-South area, weather bug camera on the Ole Miss campus in Oxford, Mississippi. Blue skies and a few clouds drifting on through with Ventress Hall in the foreground. Windy Country Club in Southeast Memphis. Some golfers out and about early this morning with clouds and blue skies mixed together. Traffic moving along pretty well here around the area of I-55 and Goodman Road. Inbound traffic at the height of rush hour, not doing too bad, but stacking up a little farther as you go back toward the 55-240 junction up around the area of Elvis Presley Boulevard. And again, some pretty decent slowdowns. In fact, two TDOT trucks on the scene at I-240 and Poplar in the east or northbound lanes here. And it looks like a fire truck underneath the bridge, so a pretty major accident incident scene going on into and around the area at this location. And Corey Ventura will have more on traffic on this coming up in just a little bit. We're going to pan back a little bit and show you that we have that backup going on all the way around the curve back to around the area of just around Quince, the overpass there, and beyond that, can't see it because of the tree line, but around Mount Moriah, a lot of stack-ups going on here, so this is definitely an area to avoid, not to mention everything in the south or westbound lanes coming through with, again, some of that construction backup still taking place uh, in and around the area at rush hour. So, again, for today, at least the weather's not causing too much of a concern at the time, so good news on that, but we will be seeing the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms popping up as we go into and around the area for the rest rest of the day. Isolated stuff only. Again, more on that in the forecast in just a little bit. Dense fog advisory remains in effect until 9 o'clock for southwest Tennessee and northeast Mississippi. Again, that's until 9 o'clock. Visibilities are not 
totally terrible, but there are some reports of localized, very dense fog. Most of that should be burning off here in about the next 45 minutes or so. Much of the rest of the Mid-South is not bad. Anything over, say, about a mile to a mile and a half is just light, patchy fog. And when you get up to around 10-mile visibility, 12-mile visibility, you're seeing some very good visibility out there. Uh, not seeing much of a major problem, but again, some localized fog possible here, causing some slowdowns out across the Mid-South. Temperatures already on the rise back in the mid to upper 70s around much of the Mid-South on live real-time WeatherNet 3, so we do have some very warm conditions across much of the area, and we'll continue to see that throughout the course of the rest of the day. If you're just tuning in and joining us, welcome to the show. Again, running into the forecast for right now showing some very warm numbers across uh, much of the area for the time being as we see again some numbers up there pretty warm go ahead you know you want to come on in hi guys i am michael gates and this is the austin Onik, and i hope you're having a wonderful and fantastic day uh catch austin later on live at nine we're also going to have music from amy black it's going to be awesome we're going to get austin in to uh take some pictures and maybe sing a little uh, <laughs> ne never done well. Never done that before. So, uh, well, I would like to keep our it's viewers. First time for everything. Yeah, and I'd like to keep our viewers, our viewers, if at all possible. But uh, uh, thanks, thanks, uh, thanks very much for the invitation. Anyway, <laughs> Mr. Michael Gates, everybody, uh, one of the production, one of the great production department members here at News hey. Channel Three. Hey. Credit where it's due, my man. Thank you very much for stopping on by. Looking again for the rest of the day, and tune in to Live at 9. That'll be coming up again here pretty soon. We'll have some more details on that coming up on News Channel 3 in just a little bit. As you said, uh, interviews and singing, not from me, from other people. Uh, as of right now, looking again at temperatures again through the rest of this morning, back into the upper 70s to lower 80s. About the time the kids are out of school, that's where we'll see the best possibility of thunderstorms such as it is, and then also the possibility of, again, numbers back in the high 80s. Combine this with a decent amount of humidity, and you got a pretty good idea of what the rest of the forecast is going to be like throughout the course of the rest of the day. Now, through tonight, temperatures remain very warm and muggy through about News Channel 3 at 10. Jim Jagger's forecast coming up there. Tomorrow morning on daybreak, temperatures back in the lower to mid 70s, so very much on the warm and mild side there. And... Once again, a repeat performance going into around tomorrow afternoon and evening with that isolated chance of showers and thunderstorms across portions of the Mid-South. Now, once again, we're not seeing anything here where it comes to thunderstorms, but we are keeping, again, right back here, a less than 10% chance of showers and thunderstorms. The best possibility of, again, thunderstorms is not great, but it is also non-zero. So if you have plans for outdoors, it's the end of the school year. We have, again, yearbook signing ceremonies. We have, again, graduation, commencement ceremonies, things like that. If you see lightning or hear thunder, you are within range of getting struck by that thunderstorm, and you need to protect yourself, so get back indoors again. So once again, not huge chances, but still possible, so keep that in mind as we go into the course of the next couple of days. Mid to upper 80s as we head again through tomorrow. Tomorrow's forecast almost identical to today with that isolated risk of a thunderstorm out there, and mid to upper 80s as we go into later on this afternoon and into this evening. Now through the end of the week, this is where things start to change a little bit, and we'll show you why coming up in just a little while. Numbers for showers and thunderstorms really start to ramp up through the holiday weekend into the holiday on Monday and keep going as we go toward next Tuesday. Welcome to everybody who's checking in for this morning and doing that little hand wave icon thing. Thank you very much uh, for checking on in for right now. Uh, Taylor Coleman, sounds like he got a voice. Uh, Mr. Gates does have one. Me, you know. A little bit less than that right there. He's definitely the singer. If you haven't seen some of his music that he does, Mr. Gates, you ought to check him out on uh, Facebook or also on his Instagram pages. Some really nice tickling of the ivories, especially with his church organ music that he does. It's really good. Just check it out sometime. Now, through next week, new storm system coming in from off the Gulf of Mexico. More on that in a little bit. Once it moves up our direction, shovels a lot of Gulf of Mexico moisture up this way, and this is where we see more chances of showers and thunderstorms. Then that system clears the area, and then that brings in more sunshine. Now that's going to be the possibility of even more sunshine, which means the temperatures are going up in the next several days as we go from May into June. 
Technically doesn't look like much, but at this time of the year, it's going to be even more stifling than what we have seen for a while. Even the lows will be back in the mid-70s, so a lot more sunshine means a lot more heat. Could see some triple-digit heat index numbers out there, and we'll be watching that with a lot of interest as well. Now, into the tropics, it's nowhere near us. It is way on down to the south, and as you can see, it doesn't even have a name at this time. It's just a weak disturbance wandering around the western Caribbean and the southern Gulf. It's been designated Invest 90 L. This is again a code that the National Hurricane Center gives to the storm so we can track them properly when they have enough structure and cohesion to maybe become a bit of a problem later on. It's something they're studying right now. That's all that means. It's just an area of investigation. But as this begins to mature and head northward over the next several days, these spaghetti plots, as they're called, and you can see why. Again, looks like kind of a mess of spaghetti out there. They're not in great agreement all the way on over the place, but about two-thirds of them are showing the potential of this storm making a beeline northward for the Florida panhandle. And if this happens, again, that counterclockwise rotation may bring a lot of moisture in from New Orleans over toward Florida. Could be several inches of rainfall through the holiday coming up on Monday, and some of that residual rainfall could make its way into the Mid-South, even more if the system intensifies and becomes a proper tropical storm or hurricane. Now, that hasn't happened yet, but we are going to be watching that, so this could be a bit of a problem here. Now, notice a couple of the models go way over toward the East Coast and way over toward Texas. So as these computer models are basically just all over the place, when they start coalescing and they start becoming more in agreement, that's when we'll see a little bit better idea as to what's happening. But there is still a chance that this thing could wander east or west. Most of them, yeah, it's showing again that direct route here. But that's something we're going to have to watch uh, very carefully, even for us. So if you're traveling to the Gulf Coast, I would say anywhere between uh, Houston and Pensacola, even down toward Tampa St. Pete, I would keep a very close eye on the tropics and this forecast. Now, again, some of you have been emailing in and leaving posts on social media saying, uh, we can't have a hurricane or a tropical storm. It's outside of the season that hasn't even started yet. It starts June 1st, so it's impossible for this to happen. No, that's wrong. We can have a system like this. All the parameters have to be lined up properly, but just because it's before official hurricane season does not mean that we can't have a storm like that. So again, if you are traveling, don't just throw this forecast out the window and say, I don't have to worry about it because it's again not going to happen because we're outside of a certain date. This is something you have to be prepared for. So again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest on that. Thanks, everybody, for some great pictures out there. Savcap123, a very nice view of downtown Memphis as the Barbecue Fest closed out this weekend. Thank you very much. Nice view of some of the foliage around the Humboldt, Tennessee area from frequent contributor James R. Gulledge. Thank you very much for that one with a minor shower up there. And early Wednesday morning, beautiful view from also frequent contributor Louis Haskett from Northeast Arkansas. Thank you guys very much for sending that in for their guys and gals, I should say. Again, if you've got pictures, we'd love to see them, so send them along to us at aonic underscore wr reg3 on twitter aonic no underscore necessary on instagram and i'll go ahead and post that address here so you can all see that in the comments section and also don't forget that i'm on many other social media web pages so you can find out a little bit more about what's going on across the Mid-South. Now, coming up a little bit later on today, we'll have more details about the forecast, including some more details about what's going on with weather around the world. If you have friends or loved ones stationed in military posts around the world, we'll have more with our special segment called Weather Where the Troops Are. That'll be coming up at about 10.30 this morning from the News Channel 3 studios. So if you have any uh, friends or loved ones overseas, we'll show you where you can get more information in regards to weather around the globe and how you can stay better in touch with friends or loved ones who may be overseas to see what the weather's going on. So stick around for more on that, and I'll be glad to keep you advised there. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day. If anything does pop up with thunderstorms, there is that tiny little chance that they could be severe, and Jim and Tim will have more on the forecast coming up later on this afternoon and into this evening. They'll keep you updated. I'll be doing so from home, but they'll be taking over from here at least, and you can keep up to date on what's going on there. Join me on all these other social media networks. Get the complete forecast again at wreg.com slash weather, including the 7 to 10 day forecast. It's all available here. Questions, concerns, ideas, email me at this website again, or this email address, austin.onic at wreg.com, and I'd be glad to have you along for the ride. i got to wrap things up. we got an 825 update 
update coming up here live on TV, so stick around for more on that, and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the rest of the day. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for early Wednesday morning's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.